Hello there, this is J. Richard Varvel for the JRV Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to the show. Uh, this morning I've decided to come out to Tevis Junior High. This is an alma mater of mine. When I moved to Bakersfield, <clears throat> and you'll have to pardon the noise next to me, uh, we're by, right by a road again, but it's not too much of a busy road. Um, however, uh, so, I went to Tevis Junior High when I moved here with my family to Bakersfield from Los Angeles, uh, from Burbank, uh, and I started junior high here. I threw some of the biggest fits and tantrums of my life. I did not want to come. I was not interested in coming to Bakersfield. I really uh, enjoyed the friends I had in Burbank, and I wanted to go to junior high in Burbank, and I did everything. I think I even had my sixth grade teacher. Um, write a letter, or I wanted him to write a letter on my behalf. <laughs> um, so anyhow, that didn't work. I moved here uh, with my mom and her new husband and my new sister, uh, and who is now my sister. I don't even, I don't consider her my stepsister. And uh, <clears throat> so anyhow, what I'm getting at, the reason why I'm here is because uh, this school had an impact on my life. Uh, I am gay. Uh, I knew that when I was here, however, I didn't know how to put words to it and I was still really conflicted on the inside because I had a lot of religious beliefs that were running in my head because I was going to church every Sunday with my family that being gay was wrong, being gay was an abomination, <laughs> being gay was like, basically I took it as being gay was like the worst thing I could be <laughs> and that I was, you know, going to hell and I had all this fear. And, uh, and so I was really in this inner turmoil. And so then I'm here at this junior high getting, trying to get to know new people. And I really had a hard time getting to know uh, new friends. And I got bullied a lot. I wasn't very good at sports. Uh, and so uh, Gay J was the go-to nickname. And so it was really hurtful to me because at that point I didn't, A, I didn't really even know what being gay meant. Uh, other than I knew I was different and felt different about, um, the boys and and then now that I'm older about men <laughs> uh, but at the same time I at that point in my life especially because of the conflicts I really didn't know how to process it and so I, I felt like I was just really I was really sensitive uh, I took things personally and so it really opened me up to getting hurt a lot and so uh, it came up last night in a private session I was sharing one of my experiences where I used to begin to make myself sick with bronchitis or sinus infections or anything that would uh, make my body uh, <clears throat> appear really sick because I knew I couldn't fake, you know, just fake sick and stay home. But I knew if I was really sick, I could stay home. And so subconsciously, because I knew that, and somehow I knew how to get myself to kind of bring these things on, um, I could literally make myself sick. Uh, and now that I am not interested in being sick, I'm not interested in hiding out, I'm not interested in um, being invisible and being small. Uh, I know who I am and I'm, I'm grateful for who I am and I'm not interested in hiding that. And I'm not interested in making myself small just because someone may be uncomfortable or may not understand my perspective. <clears throat> All those things are not my problem. <laughs> uh, and furthermore, uh, in my research, I found that it's all a bunch of bullshit what they're talking about in the Christian church as far as all the stuff that they talk about against homosexuality. It's all a big fat lie. It's all a big manufacturing of um, mistruths and misunderstandings and mistranslations. Uh, along with the fact of people that take the Bible literally. Uh, the Bible was never intended to be taken literally. It's encoded with messages. It's just like all the rest of the occult material. It is communicated through symbols. And so, no, Jesus Christ is, was not one man who came here to uh, do all these miracles. He was <clears throat> uh, literally representing the sun, the light of the world, the sun, literally the S-U-N in our solar system, not some son of God that, that's literally born from God. We're all aspects, we're all divine sparks of God. That's by our very nature coming through the earth and being born onto this planet. That's our birthright. That's how we come in with our power intact. Uh, we just play this game where we forget uh, that we have our power with us. <clears throat> However, anyways, let's see. <laughs> I'm in a flow here. Where do we want to go from here? So at the end of the day, 
uh, my point is with coming here is we just really don't understand what kind of impact we might be having on someone else when we're spewing our own venom <clears throat> and at the same time uh, on the flip side for those that are the re on the receiving end you know us taking it so personally and us owning it as if it's you know our own you know that's our responsibility to not own it as if it's our own uh, and not to take these things on um, we can literally give the gift back someone wants to throw us something we just it's like a mirror we just give it right back to them it's not giving them more it's not you know adding any karma to the transaction uh, but it isn't taking on bullshit so to speak that's coming your way uh, and so I just wanted to come here a because it's going to be part of our meditation um, but B to just share a little bit of my experience with bullying and and how it was really hard for me in the midst of it and I was really fucked up a good portion of my life um, but at the same time me working through it me um, engaging myself uh, and uh, going through therapy and going to different healers was all really um, valuable and priceless to me and I'm glad I did it because now I can stand here in front of this school and not feel I don't feel what I used to feel. I, I don't have those horrible memories come back and I don't, um, it doesn't trigger me. I can be here in neutral and really just appreciate the experiences for what they were, what how I've gotten to be right here where I'm standing right now because of it. And uh, I don't hold anything against anyone who played those roles uh, that uh, quote unquote victimized me. So let's see. That's a lot. Um, that was a little bit rapid fire, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if anybody has any questions or that anything I talked about um, just, th just at the beginning of the show, if that's triggering to anyone, please don't hesitate to comment in and we'll talk about it when we get to that part of the show. So for right now, let's go ahead and do the 11-11 meditation and then we're going to get into the card of the day and I already had to pull the card. I have an app that... Uh, I can pull the card on my phone because in the mad dash out of the house, I forgot my deck of cards. So I already know what the card of the day is. It's bull guide, uh, but we'll get into the meaning and what it represents for the collective um, after the 11-11 meditation. So, and then I'll attach a picture of the screenshot uh, that I took so that way everybody can see the card. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh boy, guys, this is wild, wild, wild right now. Wild times. I can't even, and words just aren't really enough to describe it. So let's go ahead and experience these fun, fascinating, and wild energies, these expansive energies um, right now while we're in meditation. And we're going to also extend it out to the kids, the children. All right, please close your eyes and begin to grow roots from the base of your spine and the bottoms of your feet down into the center of Mother Earth. This is grounding and connecting your energy to the Earth energy. This is allowing you to consciously connect to the Earth. Please extend your love, gratitude, and appreciation to the Earth and feel a response back. She is alive, she's awake, and she's aware just like us. And she loves to connect with us in this way. Wonderful. All right, so now I would like you to become aware of a gold and silver ball of light at the center of your heart space. And I would like you to begin to grow this gold and silver ball of light. Bigger, 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 bigger. This is a representative of your divine spark. This is your unique energy signature, your unique vibration, which allows you to have your own unique personality, gifts and abilities, and your own unique piece of the puzzle to bring to the collective. And we're gonna grow that out 13 feet today. 13 feet all around us. Perfect sphere, we're in the middle. It's powered from the infinite source within us, within our heart space. And it is shining out like a star in every direction. And that is allowing us to be in a quote unquote bubble, our own bubble, our own energy field. And this creates a separation between our energy and everyone else's which is a great space to be, especially uh, for those that are empathic, like me out there, who sometimes take on other people's energy and you're not sure uh, who, what's yours and what's somebody else's. This is a great space 
to become in, to grow yourself into, uh, put yourself in, so that way you can feel your own energies and not be susceptible to others' energies. And as well as a reminder, this is a great space and place to be in during your meditations, as well as to bring any questions to spirit, any questions to yourself. This is a great space to put yourself in. Anchoring you in your light. Anchoring you in all the love that you are. Reminding you of your own power. All right, so we're here at Tevis Junior High, and we are going to be um, sending out a loving energy through the grid system, uh, through the schools. And so in order to do that today, um, you can either, if you don't have a school in mind, you can join me here etherically in, here at Tevis Junior High. Uh, if you have a school that, is, uh, that you have an affinity for because, for whatever reason, please take yourself to that school. And you can fly off in your gold and silver ball of light, leaving time, space, and gravity behind. And you can get there like a flash. We're gonna go ahead and hover over the schools that we have chosen to be at. Whether we are here doing it live, or whether you're doing it in the archives, makes no difference. You're able to tune into this power and into this energy, and it is wonderful. Wonderful, yay, okay, so. Well, for those of us that are here at Tavis Junior High, we are uh, overlooking the school. And for those that are at other schools, you are up above from a bird's eye view. And I would like you to imagine a golden violet and aqua color blue energy emanating from your heart space. Going down through your arms, out through your hands, and it's again powered from the unlimited source within you. Again, this is a golden violet aqua color light. All the rays swirling together and they are pouring out down through our hands, down upon the school, and all the schools are connected into uh, in an in, in within an etheric grid matrix. And so because of that, no matter what school we're in, this energy is spreading out through all the schools, blessing all the children, all the teachers and staff assisting in uh, raising the vibration of the teachings, um, eliminating the lies, the manipulations, the half-truths, bringing in the real truths, uh, bringing in uh, all the different <clears throat> ways in which we can instruct that are valuable, that aren't based on um, solely on testing and solely on trying to fit everyone into this same box where we can have an education system that helps foster unique individualized creations unique expressions where we are able to learn a foundation of knowledge but we are not again limited within these boxes of knowledge these belief systems that put us in a box again this energy is just moving out through our heart space, down through our arms, out through our hands, raining down upon the schools. Yes, going right where it is needed. Wonderful, thanks for doing that and joining in with me for that healing. Very important work here we're doing together, together, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I would like you back now to fly back to wherever you are physically located or just lower yourself back down to the ground, bringing yourself back into your body, your physical body, beginning to wiggle your hands and fingers and toes and open your eyes when you are ready. Ooh, it is kind of warm and toasty having this sun on the back of my neck. I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's like this is a nice day and it's already feeling kind of kind of warm. <clears throat> okay, so the card of the day is, like I said before, Bull Guide. And Bull Guide is here to help us really uh, become firmly, ha have a firm foundation within ourselves to be ourselves, to speak our truth, to radiate our light, 
and to do it unapologetically, to do it unabashed and to not uh, allow any fear, worry or concern or judgment <clears throat> or doubt or feelings of worthlessness to uh, come in and shrink our light back, shrink our light back down. Um, Bull Guide is here to assist us in finding uh, comfort in the discomfort of speaking our truth and standing in our light. Uh, and again, as came up before, being able to be so strongly and again, not wobbling in our energetic space that if someone comes at us, <clears throat> it literally, it just doesn't have any effect because we are so strongly anchored in our light and our love that any nonsense that comes our way, you know, just isn't a trigger anymore. So, hello. hello how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I just do a Facebook live show. We we're doing a meditation and bringing in some good energy to the schools. Oh, yeah. So that's why I'm here. Is there an issue? The, yeah, the issue is that it's just, uh, you know, we have kids and stuff out right now. Okay. So that's the only issue. And it's any recording. So okay, I'll flip it around. I, no one can see anything because we're so far away, but I'll flip yeah, it around I, just for the. I understand. The, and, I understand. And, and we have got a call saying there's a guy out here recording. So okay. I mean, yeah, if you could just flip it around. Sure. That, that will work. Sounds yeah. good. I'm almost done. So I'll do that and then I'll be out of here. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. No problem. All right, take it easy. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to move so we aren't <laughs> triggering <laughs> um, issues. We don't want to cause this, any issues here. Uh, I'm not trying to stalk the school. <laughs> Uh, and so, and clearly those that are joining live, you know that you can't see anybody of any of the kids. So anyhow, that's okay. <clears throat> clearly we are triggering. That's what we're here to do. We're here to trigger people to, uh, get the energies moving, uh, to allow this loving energy to move through and to dissolve any of the nonsense that gets in the way, including limiting beliefs or fear-based beliefs, just because I might look suspicious. Okay, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> so bowl guide. Again, standing in our light, standing in our truth. Clearly I'm not here to cause trouble, and so I had no problem shifting uh, and following um, along because yes, I'm not here to just start trouble just to start trouble. And I'm not here to push buttons just for the sake of pushing buttons either. So um, there's a give and take, and so that's really fascinating that happened while I was doing the card reading of the day, especially as it's the bull guide card, because it is, it's not always about being a bull, being an, it's not about the negative aspects coming across as an asshole, or literally bullying people over, you know, not letting people have their own beliefs, their own truths, it's coming from a different place, it's coming from an immovable, shakeable, unshakable place within yourself, it has nothing to do with anybody else. It has nothing to do with what's coming at you. It has everything to do with being able to stand solid within your tr own truth, within your own light, and to let go of the, any doubt or any uh, unworthiness or anything that, uh, that uh, keeps you in that wobbling state. Whatever that keeps you from able, being able to just <sighs> being right here and right now in this present moment, unshakable. Okay, that feels complete. Um, okay, and the other part is I didn't bring, like I said, didn't, I don't have my cards. And so there won't be any card readings because I had to pull that card before I started the show because I can't do it all. Because uh, if I switch programs, then you won't be able to see me anymore. <laughs> uh, so <clears throat> we'll pick up with readings tomorrow. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Uh, I will remain on if there's anybody that has any questions that they want to uh, type in. Um, otherwise, we're going to close out the show, um, but we're in a beautiful neighborhood. This, we're in the southwest part of town. This is the part of town I used to live in before moving over to the east side. And I have to say, after experiencing both, I really do like the east side a lot. I love being up on the hill. I love the vantage points and being able to see the city in a different way. Um, as you can see behind me, all the neighborhoods have walls, and so even though there's trees and bushes and stuff around the walls, um, it's still, um, it's still walled in, you know, it's still a wall that you're staring at. And I feel like, all, like when you're driving through all the main streets, all you're seeing are walls. 
Uh, and so just for me, that's kind of boring and blasé and I feel like it's really separating and it feels really like choppy. Uh, and because the east side is older, it was before the, I guess, that whole phase of the walls. And not that there aren't walls, but there aren't as many. And again, even with the walls that are there, you're, they don't stick out, stick out like they stick here because there's different levels that you can get and have different uh, perspectives. And so anyways, for me, that really makes a difference. I feel like the energy hangs out here in the valley too, differently. It can get denser and heavier down here. Uh, up on the mountain, on the hillside, I feel like the energy is moving on that hillside uh, in a different way, and I, I can I can feel it for, from my perspective. So, anyways, some very, very differences. I'm sure there are people that have moved from the east side that have moved to the southwest that think the southwest is the bee's knees. So, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> um, all right, I don't believe there's going to be any questions today. Again, I want to uh, thank everybody and appreciate everybody for tuning in today. We will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Until then. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> uh, surrounding everybody with a big, huge, giant hug of love. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>